Prosecutors said formal charges will be filed by the end of the month, but no court date has been announced just yet. New at five, the future revolves around technology. Yeah, Atlanta Public Schools made that very clear today as it laid out its focus for the district in 2023. Bobeth Yates joining us live outside of Midtown High School in Atlanta to explain what's going on here. That's right, Faith, from students getting an opportunity to be Google certified to major corporations donating to area schools. Atlanta Public School Superintendent says they are preparing students for the future. Yes, it is 2023, but we're on a journey that will take us into 2036. Today, Atlanta Public Schools Superintendent Dr. Lisa Herring described her vision to prepare students for the world of tomorrow. Our students are innovating in digital fabrication spaces using code robots, they're using code robotics. During her State of the District address, she focused on their mission possible plan, incorporating community partnerships, virtual reality technology, and even robots to help students in the classroom and beyond. It's necessary because how do we prepare kids for, the, for jobs that don't exist yet, for jobs that we haven't even seen yet? We've got to think them to think a little bit differently around critical thinking, around content, communication. They have to be creators of their work. And it starts at the lowest grade levels with even four-year-olds learning how to code and carrying that innovation all the way through to when those students graduate high school. 2,500 of our scholars are currently learning to code K-12 from the basic advanced iOS application design and more. And there are also programs focusing on current high school students. There are scholars at Mays High School that will already be employed at Google who have had some level of an internship because of this partnership. But when they cross the stage, they'll be going to work in a high wage, high salary position. Well, in addition to the challenges in preparing students in the class of 2036, Atlanta Public Schools says there are also concerns for the current teenagers. And coming up at 6, I have more on what's being done to fill the gap, education gap created by COVID and also the concern about teen violence. Live in Atlanta, Bo Beth Gates, 11 Alive News.